Hello, my name is Zoe Badcock, one of the co-authors of the InThinking ESS website, which is designed to give new and experienced teachers everything they need to help them in their day-to-day -day teaching. The site covers all aspects of the syllabus and assessment. A good place to start is with the sitemap, where you get a good overview of what is included and how it's organised. As you can see, there's a wealth of focused material, ready to go activities for learning and assessment advice. And new materials are being added every week, 52 weeks a year. If we take a closer look now at the welcome drop down menu. Here you'll find tips on how to organise your course and a large section on case studies in ESS. Here you'll find where case studies are needed in different parts of the syllabus and resources to support this. The topics section of the website is the largest section and here we've got every topic and then every subtopic and within every subtopic you'll find different advice on how we've approached this subject, some pitfalls that you might um, might find and ways to overcome these. And in every subtopic there are topic activities. These are inquiry based activities that help support student understanding during the course and you can use them as classroom activities or take home activities. And lots of inquiry based activities there. In the practical approach of the website, this is the area where we build the practical scheme of work and there are ideas for every topic on how to approach this in a practical sense. And there's ideas from a scientific stance and also from a more social science or humanities stance. You want to check out, you might want to check out this section of the website, Fieldwork, Lab Skills and Resources. Here we've gathered tips for how to design surveys and questionnaires, resourcing labs, ecology fieldwork, some key ideas in how to do scientific investigations, lots of different ideas for you to have a look through. The independent investigation is worth 25% of the final mark that students will achieve in this course and we give you ideas on how to guide students through the investigation, how to write the investigation and then also there are student exemplars of all the different types of investigation that students can do. So we've got experimental lab reports, We've got survey based reports, secondary data investigations and field worker investigations. And here we give advice on how to mark these reports. In the assessment part of the website, you'll find advice on how to develop the skills that students need to have success in the final assessments. There are examples of unit tests as well that help develop these skills. The revision, revision section of the website is where students can go to find key concepts and vocabulary that are developed for each topic. There's areas where they can check their understanding, there's quizzes and for teachers there's revision strategies that you can use in your classroom. The final section of the website is the IB core the CAS Extended Essay TOK and in this section of the website you'll find that there is um, tips on how to develop the links between the CAS and ESS, how to approach using um, ESS or World Studies as an extended essay and how to develop your understanding of TOK and your students understanding of ESS and TOK. There's also ideas on international mindedness and the learner profile which can be used to help enrich your teaching and also for those unit plans that you are required to produce. And finally I'd like to introduce you to the student access feature of the website. 
This is something that I use with my students every single day and it is very, very useful. You can set student assignments, you can give them access to the website so that they can do their own um, personal learning and you can set reading, writing, discussion exercises and monitor their progress through an online grade book. We really hope that you find the website useful and we look forward to having you join us as subscribers to the website.